Hello, my name is Andrew. I'm a frequent Magic the Gathering player. I started playing Magic about a year and a half ago thanks to a good friend of mine. He got me into the game while we were attending a trade school together and I ended up falling in love with the game. Starting with Commander, I bought an Arabo Precon deck to learn how to play it, and during our first ever game, I noticed I was immediately at a disadvantage compared to everyone else in our pod. The game consisted of constant removal of my board, even though I had no idea what I was doing. And even though it was a pre-con with not that much gas, I was given a treatment of no pulling punches in the game. Even if their threat detection was a little wacky, I still learned how to build around a meta, while also being a new player. The talks of Oka being banned in standard make a lot of sense, but let's look at this from another point of view, which is a new player's point of view. I've only been playing standard for about six months now, brewing janky, somewhat effective decks that have gotten me into platinum in season two. As War of the Spark released, we gained D-Spark, Angress Rampage, Spark Harvest, Vraska's Finisher, Prison Realm, Blast Zone, and the Elder Spell. Even something like Domri's Ambush is an effective removal spell against Oko, all of which are 1-3 to three mana Planeswalker removal spells as well as a land. These may not be in your colors you want to play, however splashing into a color is also effective for removal. You see it all the time in Modern and Pioneer. I feel like the problem isn't Planeswalker removal. Oko seems to be an auto-include in every Simic deck. It almost seems like Soul Ring would be to Commander as Oko would be to Standard. It is a very powerful early game card that keeps your opponents from doing anything really. With a pseudo beast within effect, as a plus one on a three mana walker, it makes plenty of sense why he was talked about being banned. Once again, I'm also new to this whole standard thing, and I haven't really had an issue with Oko, so I may not truly understand everything that people are talking about, but that is why I'm making this video. I want to hear what everyone has to say about it and why they feel that way. As a growing community of Magic players, the most important thing I feel we can do is talk amongst ourselves and teach each other not only how to be better players, but how to be better people. It feels like the community is splitting and the spirit of the game is not supposed to feel like that. This game reaches so many demographics and walks of life and that's why I'm so drawn to it. You can meet someone you don't even know, or speak the same language as even. But if you both play magic, you speak magic. You can both play a game. It's something incredible. This community has not only changed my life in a social way, but in a way that my perspective on other people has changed. And I'm truly thankful for that. So please leave a comment down below why you believe Oka needs to be banned. And maybe some rebuttal will ensue. But let's have some fun. Let's talk about it. Once again, thank you guys for watching this video.